Yo, what's going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a really cool opener slash film look with Filmora. Now guys, I will be putting out Filmora tutorials every Friday. I'm just gonna be calling it Filmora Fridays. Now, if that's something you guys wanna watch, please, please tell me in the comment section below. That will be much appreciated. Depending when you're watching this, is probably Friday, obviously. Um, I'm just hoping that, you know, Thanksgiving went all great for you guys. And uh, when I'm recording this, it's going to be Thanksgiving. So um, I'm just thankful for my whole entire family, uh, my friends, and my girlfriend as well. But uh, let's go ahead and start with this tutorial. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. It's really simple and very easy to do. Of course, you will have to download Filmora. I will leave you a link in the description so you guys can download it. And uh, when you have it installed, just um, go ahead and import your footage. I just have some footage of the ocean here, uh, royalty free. I will leave a link in the description if you guys want to download that as well. And what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and do it from scratch. So I'm going to delete the text. And I'm also going to reset this so you guys know what uh, how to do it. So we have the footage here. It's pretty pl pretty plain, pretty simple. Select your footage. Uh, go on to the inspector or just click the show inspector. And it will bring up the element inspector. And from here, what you want to go ahead and do is go on to the mask option. And then you want to go ahead and select the first one. So it's going to bring you another window with the width, the height, and the x and y axis so we're going to go ahead and move all this to 100 percent and the rest to zero and then we're going to go ahead and move the height uh, we're going to move it to around 75 percent now the reason we do this is we're going to be moving the y axis down so this is just kind of cropping the video down a little bit so now we're going to move the y and we're going to move that to around 12 percent to 13 percent uh, so right here is around where you want it. Of course, you can play around with that. Now, the more, the less, um, I should say, uh, the percentage for the height, the more you'll want to increase this. So the bigger the letter box will be. And that letter box will just add, like I always add to my videos, a really nice effect to the video, like a film look, okay? Of course, you guys can color grade it and do everything you want. I think this video has already been color graded. I'm not too sure. But from the looks of it, it looks like it has been. So what we're going to do now is add the text. And it's very simple. Just go to the left and click on the T for the text and credits. And I went to the hand-drawn one. And this one looks really cool. So I'm going to drag that uh, below the video where the text in the timeline where the text row is. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And this will bring up the title inspector. So from here, you have you know different options just like in Final Cut Pro. Uh, this will be different. So... You can play and pause the video to see how it looks like. Uh, however, I'm going to change this and name this coast because, I mean, it's in the coast, right? Or it can be anywhere else, but <laughs> that's where water is mainly. And if you want to shrink or make the, you know, this little animation smaller, just click on the outside and just kind of shrink it just like that. I like to make it smaller because it, it makes the video more interesting. So right there is centered now if you want to select the text just click on it and click this little where the dotted lines are and just move that to wherever you want maybe you want to rescale this a little bit i'll increase it just a tad so right there is perfect uh perfectly centered i believe and then right here is we can change the animation so you have this and now this makes the text appear longer as you can see there uh, i don't really like that too much but uh, you guys can you know change it and do everything you got you guys can even move around the text to when you want it to start the animation so you can see just like that but i think right here is good but i will do a tutorial later with the title inspector so just keep that in mind so click ok and you guys should now have this right here so like i said you guys can do a whole bunch of stuff you guys can get creative with it so um i mean that's how you do the letterbox effect right there without even having to import a, a png image of it but uh, yeah, you can see how it's kind of playing slow. That's because it kind of has to surrender. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. Like I said, I hope you guys found this tutorial interesting and helpful. If it did, please leave a rating below. That would be much appreciated. And uh, leave a comment down what you guys want to see next. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.